The aim of this investigation is to see whether the boxing performance of six amateur boxers A to F is affected by their level of hydration which is given by E for euhydration which is the normal state or D a state of dehydration. The boxing performance is measured by recording the number of punches each boxer can throw in each of six rounds conducted over two bouts. Rounds one, two and three are in bout one. Rounds four, five and six are in bout two. The output variable in this case is the number of punches which is a frequency value but since its value is quite high we can treat it as a continuous variable. We will test whether hydration has effect on the number of punches while also taking into account the subject and the bout by using an analysis of variance calculation. For a valid analysis of variance calculation there is a condition that the data is normally distributed and has an equality of variance at all measurement levels and this has been tested elsewhere. So to perform the ANOVAR we go to STAT ANOVAR and we will use the general linear model and we must first of all fit the general linear model before we can do any other measurements. In this case the responses are the number of punches and as factors we will take into account the subject, the level of hydration and the bout. We can develop the model that we are using under model. We can see that we have the terms subject, hydration and bout and we would like to look for an interaction between hydrate and bout. So we will highlight these two terms which allows us to add a cross factor or an interaction. So we will click add so we see that we now have the term hydration times bout which is the interaction term in our model. So we click OK and we will now run the analysis. The numerical results will appear in the session window in which we can see the standard analysis of variance output table with the p-values for the significances of each of our factors we can see that the subject, i.e. the boxer, is a significant factor with a near zero p-value. The performance of the different boxers were different. The level of hydration is recorded as being very significant, again with a p-value close to zero. But what is important here is the interaction term hydration times bout is also very significant with a p-value of actually less than 0 0.0005. On the face of it, it appears that the bout may not be significant, a p-value of 0 0.151. But because bout is involved in the interaction term, we should also consider it to be a significant factor. Now that we have run this particular general linear model, we can go back to STAT, ANOVAR, general linear model and now we can see that having fitted the general linear model we have options for doing further analyses. We could use comparisons to identify differences between particular levels and we can do factorial plots which we will do in this case. We see that we have all the factors selected here but I'm interested only in an interaction plot between hydration and bout so we will remove subject. We need to go to graphs to specify the plot we're looking for. And we will look for an interaction plot. And in this case, we will choose to display the full matrix. And if we do that, OK. OK. The matrix of plots here gives us in the bottom left hand corner the number of punches plotted against the level of hydration and in the top right hand corner the number of punches plotted against the bout number. And if we look for example at the top right hand 
plot. Each data point is the average of all the measurements made under the particular condition of bout and hydration. And this tells us that on average, going from bout 1 to bout 2, the number of punches decreases for boxers who are in a state of dehydration, but appears to increase slightly for boxers who are in the normal state of euhydration. This shows the interaction between the two in that the effect of changing the bout level is dependent on the level of hydration. If there was no interaction, we would expect these lines to be parallel. We could just present the plot that we have in the lower left-hand corner of this matrix when we went to request factorial plots in that the option was just to display lower left-hand matrix. However, if we wished to have bout on the x-axis, as we had in the top right-hand matrix, it would be necessary to go right back to the original fit of the general linear model and change the order of the factors. So we start with bout and then hydrat, go to the model. So we now have bout times hydrat. We go OK, run the model so that now when we request factorial plots for the lower left matrix, we will have the number of punches for the two bouts with the two lines describing the levels of hydration, which is the plot we had in the top right hand corner of the matrix.